All right, hello. So today we're gonna do the blockage protocol and show how it's done. Um, blockage protocol is used for when you either suspect that your ferret ate something that might cause a blockage, if they're having thin poops, if, they're, if they've got a loss of appetite, this guy's got a tender tummy, and we're wondering if it's a hairball or maybe something else. So we're gonna do the blo blockage protocol and see if anything comes out. So what you need for the blockage protocol is pumpkin puree, 100% pure pumpkin. Um, you'll also need Vaseline and some oil that your ferret likes because most ferrets don't just like to eat Vaseline or pumpkin outright. So we're gonna start off. He, he, he's, he's, he's not into this process, he wants to go. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start off with a tablespoon of pumpkin. So I measured out a tablespoon in the bowl. Here. There we go. I'm gonna feed it to him with a teaspoon. I'm gonna to see if he takes it by himself. He's willing to try. And so you're gonna to have to try and feed him the whole tablespoon of pumpkin which can sometimes be a challenge. So when he's done with it, like he's had a couple of licks and he still has this much to go. What I would suggest is getting some oil, fish oil or whatever oil your ferret likes best. Oh, come on, boy. I'll catch you later, you know that, right? And mixing it into the pumpkin to make it more enticing, yeah? Can you smell something you like, boy? <laughs> oh, there we go. Come on, let's try it now. No takers. So, this, this ferret really doesn't like to be scruffed. So I'm doing my best to avoid scruffing him. If you see, I'm kind of just holding him. Some ferrets, if you scruff them a little gently, then they'll take to it a bit more e uh, easily. Some ferrets just won't, and you'll have to syringe feed this. I try to avoid syringe feeding because it causes a bit of extra stress. <laughs> see, even though he's wiggling around, he does eat it eventually when I turn him back to it. It's a bit of a process. If you look over on this towel, um, it'll show you why you don't want to do this on your white couch. Right? There we go. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. If he gets too stressed out, I suggest let him go and then pick him up later and try again. But make sure that you feed all uh, as much of the pumpkin to, uh, as you can. All right, and we put some more oil on top of the teaspoon with the pumpkin. And you can see that it's a bit easier to get it into him that way. We finished the pumpkin. This is the aftermath. This is what we look like afterwards. <laughs> Very covered in pumpkin. Yeah, pretty much covered in pumpkin, but he ate all of it. So now we're gonna wait an hour and then, you know, attempt this process with a teaspoon of Vaseline. All right, 
So now we'll be proceeding with the second part of the blockage protocol and we'll be giving this beautiful boy a teaspoon of Vaseline. This is to help um, everything come out smoothly, to line, um, to coat the stomach and see what do you think of Vaseline, eh? He, he, he doesn't approve. So we're going to measure out not let the ferret escape. We're gonna measure out a teaspoonful. I know, I, I know, I know what you're looking for. You'll get some, don't worry. <laughs> so he says he wants some of the oil on it. And so that's exactly what we're gonna do. Yes. That's what you're after, isn't it? So I'm just going to put a couple of drops on top and see if he'll lick this up. And he will. So make sure that he is getting the Vaseline in with the oil. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. So there's no oil left there already, but he's still working and hoping to find some somewhere. <laughs> this part is slightly more less slightly less messy than the pumpkin, but still. And again, you're going to want to try and have your ferret eat the whole spoon of the Vaseline. Make sure that your Vaseline is unscented. I know they have a, a lavender one. That's not the one to buy. Just the original should do. Good boy, good boy. And so neither pumpkin nor Vaseline should be everyday food for your ferrets. You only do this in an emergency when you're worried that your ferret might have eaten something um, and it's causing either a partial blockage. If you're worried that your ferret has a blockage, even if it's a partial one, I suggest that you go to the vet. This guy has already been to the vet and we were given a wait and see kind of answer. That's why we're doing this to see if anything interesting comes out of him. Um, if you suspect that your ferret has a blockage, take him to the vet. It's 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 an emergency. So with a full blockage, ferrets um, will uh, die within forty eight hours. It can be less. And if it's something sharp, it can perforate their intestines as well. As you can see, I'm not scruffing him. I don't have to like do this process forcefully. I don't have to hurt him or cause him trouble. It's just kind of slightly not the best food he's ever had. And as soon as he kind of starts getting picky, I add a couple more drops of the oil and he goes at it right again. Once again, if your ferret is, you know, is in distress, is he's like trying to run away from you, stressed out, let him go for a minute or two, then pick him up again, try again, so that they can have a, you know, a minute or so to calm down and relax a bit. Yeah, are you almost done? We're about halfway done. No, probably a bit more actually. Good boy, good boy. See, the underside of the spoon is, is, is to taste a lot better, but we got to eat the contents. Can you finish this? Normally, I wouldn't be giving a ferret this much oil in one sitting. Um, that much oil can cause funky poops. It's um, not a good thing. 
But once again, when you're doing a blockage protocol, it's an emergency. You want to get this stuff inside them. You kind of don't want to... Um, don't want to make it tougher on the ferret, so you try to make this process as smooth as possible. Alright. He's almost done. So when he does finish this Vaseline, um, we're going to wait a bit and see if he makes a big orange poop. And he hasn't thrown up, so that's a really good sign. Um, so we're going to be waiting on that big orange poop which should take about three, four hours in total from the beginning of the protocol. Um, and in the, in the meantime, while we're waiting, in about another hour, we're, we'll give him some more pumpkin, another tablespoon. And if he still hasn't pooped and hasn't thrown up, then we'll give him another teaspoon of Vaseline. But you know what? I've done this protocol a few times and I've never had to wait until the second bout of Vaseline. By that time, we always got the orange poop. Are you almost done? Are you tired of this? Do you want to leave? Just a little more. <laughs> All right. So thanks for watching.